Hello students and welcome with us with commercial subjects Introduction to Office Management Chapter 2 Reception Dealing with Visitors By the end of this lesson the student should be able to apply the way of dealing with visitors through acting and number two explain the problems in the reception area from the previewed videos let's start with an engaging starter receptionist duties are not just filing forms and documents issuing visitor badges and giving directions if you want to become a receptionist what will be your main responsibility other than the responsibilities that we have said right now the main responsibility of the good receptionist is welcoming visitors this is the main responsibility dealing with visitors there are many ways to deal with the visitors and there are strict ways that we have to follow in the organization while dealing with visitors and as we can know that there are many kind of visitors that we're going to deal with them we're going to talk about it later on like for example we have the anger visitor or we have difficult visitor so let's see how we're going to deal with all these types of visitor first of all greet and welcome the visitor number two ask if they need help i don't wait for him to to tell what he wants i ask him directly when he come i welcome him let's say i say good morning how can i help you number three find out the visitor's name let's see if he have an appointment ask him what is your name number four check if the visitor have an appointment and who he wants to see. After you get his name, check in the visitor's book or in the, in the computer if you have an appointment and who the person that he wants to meet. Number five, ask the visitor to record their detail in the visitor's book. Whenever you go to any organization, the first thing that you do after he takes your name and welcome you, there's a book. Let's say it's a very big book okay that you have to write your name your cpr number the time you arrive and your telephone number this is like for security issues number six issue a visitor badge now if this visitor will go to meet someone okay he will not go directly like this as he came now we must give him a badge written on it visitor so that everyone who can see him in the company he know that this person is a visitor He's not an employee in this organization. Number seven, if the visitor is expected, contact the wanted staff. If a one of the managers, let's say the sales managers, is waiting for him. So when he came and he told you that I have a meeting with the sales manager, then first of all, don't send him directly to the sales manager. No, you have to call the sales manager first and check if he can meet him now or no and then you can send him number eight tell the visitor about any delay let's say for example this sales manager he can't he's not be able to meet him now he told you okay let him wait for 10 minutes you have to tell the visitor excuse me sir you will wait for 10 minutes please till the sales manager finish his meeting for example the last step is Provide refreshment like juice, tea, or coffee while he's waiting for his turn. Give him refreshment. You can solve practice two, page 27 in the workbook. Let's move to the second goal problems in reception area. As we know, the receptionist is like the image of the company. She is the first point of contact with the company. So, of course, she will see all the problems will be in her face. She will face all the problems. Let's see the kind of problems that she will meet. She has this unexpected visitor. How are you going to deal with the unexpected visitors? Dealing with difficult visitors. 
and dealing with complaints. Now we're going to see kind of each of them and how to deal with them. Dealing with unexpected visitors. Who are the unexpected visitors? The unexpected visitors are those who come without an appointment. If he doesn't have an appointment and he came to me, his, his coming is not expected. Number two, visitors with appointment, they have appointment, but they arrive earlier or later. Let's say, for example, his appointment at 9 o'clock, he came at 8.30 or he came at 9.30. We're going to see how to deal with this visitor. The last one, people call to see someone in the organization and they don't have an appointment. They just made a call, they want to meet someone, but they don't have an appointment. How are we going to deal with these unexpected visitors? First of all, I have to solve the problem. Solve the problem. How are you going to solve it? Try to solve it, even if you but at least try to solve the problem in a way that you still give positive image about you and about the company. Or as we can say, solve it in a diplomatic way. Okay, solve it in a diplomatic way. Number two, deal with the visitor and the problem in a way, as you have said, that you still give positive image about you and about the company. Don't get angry with the visitor. No, try to cool him down and solve the problem. Dealing with difficult visitors or the angry visitors, the visitor will never say that he made a mistake. Even if he, in himself, within himself, he knows that he is wrong, but he will never admit it. He will never say that he made a mistake. The receptionist should be diplomatic and try to solve the problem. Number three, accept the visitor's problem as a challenge, a challenge for you, so you can know how strong are you or how you're able to solve this problem. The last thing is, the receptionist will make Still, she has to make positive image about the company and about herself, even if she wasn't able to solve the problem. Must still give positive impression or positive image. This is a very important point, that in every problem the receptionist face, she must still or he must still give positive image or positive impression. Dealing with the complaints. Receptionist must be ready to listen and note customer's complaints. Now, when a customer come and he have a complaint, okay, and the receptionist was busy writing or doing her work, she must leave everything, she must leave the pen and listen to him, and whenever, whatever he says, she write down what he say, not what she's working on. She write what he's saying, his complaint. Give apology or explain about the complaint. She must get apologize instead of the company. But if she know how to solve the problem, she explained to him about this complaint. And then when she, after not, noting it down, pass the complaint to the concert person or the concern department. Let's say, for example, he bought a product, but it was damaged or something wrong with it. She gave it, pass it to the sales department. You can refer to the blue box, page 29, in the book where you can see more examples about the callers who call the company. You can answer question 10, page 31, in the workbook. Let's move on to the questions. Question 1. As the visitors arrive, the receptionist is generally expected to deal with them. Complete the steps below of dealing with visitors. Here we have some steps missing. Please complete the other steps. The first step will be greet or welcome the visitor. Step number two, ask if they need help. Number three, find out the visitor's name. Number four, check if the visitor have an appointment and who he wants to see. Step number five, Ask the visitor to record their details in the visitor's book. Step number six, 
issue a visitor badge. Step number seven, if the visitor is expected, contact the wanted staff. Step number eight, tell the visitor about any delay. And the last step is provide refreshment like juice, tea, or coffee. Question two, different types of visitors are coming to your company. As a receptionist, how can you deal with the following visitors? Now I'll preview many kind of visitors and tell me how you're gonna deal with each type of visitor. Visitor A, a visitor who has no appointment. How are we gonna deal with this visitor? Number one, take another appointment. Two, wait for some time and check if the manager is not busy so he can see the visitor. Number three, transfer him to another employee who can help him if possible. In case this manager can't see him, let another manager to see him if possible. Visitor B, a visitor arrives earlier than expected. How we can deal with this type of visitor? Number one, contact the member of staff to be seen. If delayed, ask the visitor to take a seat and offer refreshment for him. Number three, if available, direct visitor to the staff. Visitor C, a visitor arrives later than expected. He came after his appointment. How to deal with him? Take another appointment or wait for some time and check if the manager is not busy so he can see the visitor. Or another solution, transfer him to another employee who can help and see him if possible. Visitor D. A visitor inquired vacancies for jobs. He is looking for a job. How to deal with this visitor? Call the HR department to ask for appointment if possible. As we have said previously that the HR department or the human resource department responsible for looking for employees or searching for employees. Visitor E. A person who have an appointment with sales manager, but he is unable to come because of another meeting at the same time. This, man, this visitor, he has an appointment, let's say at 10 o'clock, but he is not, not able to come at this time. So how can I deal with him? Give him another appointment. The last visitor, a visitor complained about damaged products. This visitor with a complaint. How shall we deal with him? Number one, try to cool him down because of course he will come, he's very angry, so try to cool him down. Apologize about what happened and then try to contact the sales department or any employee who can solve his problem. You can refer to the workbook for more activities from page 27 till page 32. Thank you for listening and wish you all the best.